My name is Nipe Mero, and the story I will be narrating is The Miser and the Magic Stone of Riches. There was once a man who became very wealthy because his god gifted him a magic stone. Now this magic stone was called a Wu, meaning the magic stone of riches. Whoever possessed this stone would become very wealthy and prosperous in life. But even though this man lived such a comfortable life, he was very greedy and miserly. He never cared to share his wealth with other people. Seeing his behavior, his god was very angry towards him. I have given so much to this man, and yet he does not know how to thank me, nor does he care to share his wealth with poor people. I must take it back. So, as a punishment for his attitude, his god sent a rat to take back the magic stone. The rat took the magic stone and ran into the forest. The man tried chasing the rat himself, but in vain. He came back home very worried. Seeing his sadness, his pet cat asked him, Master, what is the matter? Then the man replied, I have lost my precious magic stone. Then the cat said, I will go to the forest and bring back the magic stone for you. The next day, the cat was sent out on her mission. The man let his pet dog accompany her. He packed, he packed lunch for the two of them and off they went. They walked for miles and miles. They crossed two hills and both of them were very tired, especially the dog. So he asked the cat if they could rest for a while. But the cat replied, if we stop this early, we will not be able to catch up with the rat. So they started walking again. And when they reached the third hilltop, the dog was so tired that he collapsed into the ground and begged the cat if they could stop now. The cat finally gave in and they stopped there. They rested for a while, had their lunch and started walking again. Now they saw a bush and that something was moving underneath it. When they looked closer, they saw that it was the rat. Now they stopped at their places and planned their strategies to attack the rat. The cat told the dog to go to the other end of the bush and start barking and trotting loudly. The dog did exactly as told and started barking fiercely behind the bush. The rat was so frightened that it came running out. The cat at that very moment caught the rat, killed it and took the magic stone. They were making their way back home. The cat was holding the magic stone in its mouth. But seeing the cat, the dog too wanted to hold the magic stone and asked the cat to give it to him. But the cat denied, fearing that he might drop it. But the dog kept on pestering her. So she finally gave in and she gave him the magic stone. They started walking again. And when they reached a river, the dog saw his own reflection in the water and thought that it was another dog with another magic stone. So he opened his mouth to bark at it. But as soon as he opened his mouth, the rock fell into the water. Now, no matter how hard they tried to retrieve it, the, it was not possible because the, the rock had already fallen deep into the water. Now, with no choice other left, they went back home. On reaching home, their master was anxiously waiting for them. He asked if they had brought the stone or not, but the cat told him the whole story. And after hearing that, the master got so mad that he beat up the dog so brutally and chased him out of his house. Now the stone, the stone was never retrieved again, and the rich man's wealth too started getting exhausted. He became very poor and he lived miserably for the rest of his life. Thank you.